Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Eva and I'm about to show you a really interesting guitar. But first of all, right now I'm trying to make a video every week and post it every Saturday or Sunday. So make sure to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to be updated and notified when I post new videos. So the guitar I'm about to show you is the Edwards Les Paul. ELP125. As always, I've got it on loan from Guitar Story, make sure to check out their store and let's get it started. So first of all, let's note that the Edwards Guitars is a subsidiary of ESP. So if you don't know, the ESP Company Limited is a Japanese manufacturer focused on the production of electric guitar and basses. They are based both in Japan and Los Angeles, USA, with two distinctive product lines for each respective market. The Edwards Guitars series consists of high quality replicas of legendary models such as Les Paul, Telecaster and Stratocaster as well as ESP original designs. And here's the catch, while these guitars are readily available in Japan, they're not officially sold in the United States due to some patent restrictions from industry giants like Fender or Gibson. But fear not, as many individuals import them to the US as well as Europe, so it's not that hard to find them on the used guitar market. So let's take a closer look at the ELP125 that I've got here. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the serial number, so it makes it hard to date it. As a Les Paul copy, it's a solid body construction featuring maple top and mahogany body. It's got a set neck which is made of mahogany with a rosewood fretboard and perloid inlays. The original pickups were replaced by the Marchio 36th anniversary PAF. Pots and capacitors were changed as well as far as I know. As a typical Les Paul, it's got four controls, two volume and two tone and a three position switch. Unfortunately, the tip of the switch broke during the transport, so it will have to be replaced. And it's also equipped with Cluson Deluxe tunage. The neck on this one is pretty chunky. By the way, I think this is the heaviest guitar that I've ever played. I've tried a couple of Les Pauls even recently, but none of them were as heavy as this one. It weighs more than 5 kilograms and it's definitely way too heavy for me. I can feel it when sitting down with it even right now and I can't even imagine playing it with a strap. That's it for this video. Thank you for joining this short showcase of the Edwards Les Paul. Remember to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos, like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what were your experiences with Edwards guitars if you had any. See you next time!
Bye.